Well, welcome to another uh, Memphis Monday. Uh, today we're going to, this is uh, Memphis Monday 91, uh, making uh, two uh, cedar boxes. This is a prototype here. Um, and I think it's going to be a pretty fun project, but we're uh, way too much talk and we need to get some action. So let's knock off the chit chat and get to work. Um, trying to stick the prototype together. Sometimes I spend more time working on the prototype than I do the do the project. Okay, and put a clamp on it. I'll let this dry a little bit, and then we'll put the top on it. The, uh, the bottom sits in the dado that's cut uh, in the sides of the box. And the dado, of course, runs all the way through. You don't have to do that. You know, you can try to stop it and chisel out the corners. Um, or, another way of doing it, I saw this on the internet. I didn't invent it. You can put a plug in there and saw it off with your dovetail saw. And leaves a nice little tight plug you can't even see where the hole was. Let this uh, top dry on here and let's take a look at these uh, dovetails on the uh, prototype. Well let's sit here long enough. Let's take the uh, clamps off. Let's take, let's go uh, sand her down some. Well, there's our little cedar box with uh, hand-cut uh, dovetails. Split case. It'll open up like that. Okay. Now we can start our project. Our project's really going to be about how to make these uh, dove <coughs> dovetail joints. I uh, came up with a way to do it on a, uh, a scroll saw we uh, mounted last week. So let's get to it. Well, I got to work on our box. Um, here's, this, here's our prototype and here's our stock. The top here will be made out of this uh, a large piece of... Uh, solid uh, cedar. Uh, here are the uh, sides, these boards here. I'll trim them to width after I get the uh, dovetails in them. And the bottom, it's an inset bottom. They'll sit in the dado. And that will be this 3 16 inch uh, uh, maple plywood. The special thing about these uh, dovetails, special for me anyway, is that I made them, here's a practice piece up here, is that I made them with a uh, scroll saw. First thing to do is take the thickness of the board, get that exact, and then make a mark 
a light pencil mark. It's customary to put the <clears throat> dovetails on the side, like if this was a drawer, when you slid the drawer out, you'd see the dovetails. If you put them around the other way, it would just look like box joints. So I'll be putting uh, these pins uh, so that they come through the side. These, what I'm drawing in here, are the uh, small ends of the uh, pins and the line has to be parallel, I mean exactly transverse to uh, this 90 degrees here. So those lines right there have to be perfect because I'll be running my saw right along. Okay, my first step is to rock the blade over to 15 degrees. And then I'll cut that angle into right next to that line and right next to that line. And I'll also mark my waist. That'll be waist. That'll be waist. And that'll be waist. Okay, let's do it. Okay, this would be my uh, 15 degree cut to the right. Okay, now I'm going to change the angle to the, of the table. Well, while I'm at it, I'll just go ahead and cut the other side too. Okay, I did all the uh, <clears throat> right cuts now. I'll tilt the table 15 degrees to the left and do all the left cuts. So now you can see our little, uh, our nice little perfect uh, angle cuts there. Okay, now we've got to hog that, uh, hog that wood out. I'm going to flip it over to the narrow side of the waist here. You see the waist, this is the waist here. It's got the wide it's got the wide side up here and the narrow side down here. So I'm going to be cutting 90 degrees right into these these cuts right here. Let's do that. Okay, now you can see that in each one of these cuts, here's my pins right here, that all I have on this waist is this little wedge right here, and we'll hog that out. Okay, let me make these uh, 90 degree cuts on uh, the other three joints, and we'll keep moving on. Okay, the next uh, thing we need to do is we need to hog out right here, right here, and right here. That will leave our perfect little pins uh, in place. There's a little bit of tricky sawing with this, but it's not too bad. And there are our perfect little pins. Let me uh, do the other three joints and we'll move on to the tails. Well, all the practice uh, paid off. Uh, we got all those uh, pins cut. 
now it's time to do the uh, tails, which are basically the uh, slots that the pins will go into. Let me show you how we do that. What I'm doing here, I reposition the camera so you can see it, is I'm putting, I'm putting my uh, pin board across here, and now I'm just going to reach in there with a pencil. I don't knock the whole thing apart and trace out where I want the tails. These are 90 degree, or they're, they're just 90 degree cuts. They're angled a little bit, but, but they're not, uh, there's no compound angle to them. So all I gotta do is cut on the inside of the line I made and cut out this waste where the X is. Okay, let's see how we did. Here's our joint. What I've done is I've put this one here. This, this will show up on the outside. Um, these, these joints have to be custom fitted. That's the whole point of uh, hand cut dovetails. None, they're never the same from joint to joint. Okay, let's uh, I'll go ahead and do the other three joints and we'll be rock and rolling. Yeah, I got our dry fit up uh, done. The, the uh, dovetails just came out perfect. Um, what I'm doing now is I'm, I need to size this new, this, our project box to the same proportions as our prototype. I really like the proportions of this little box. So let me show you how uh, how I do that. Okay, it's a pretty simple procedure. I just take the the measurements from the long side. This is the uh, prototype, and this is the project box here. This is the long side measurement of the prototype and this is the height of the prototype and I want to make that equal to this is the uh, length of the uh, project box 28 and I want to discover X which is the height of the project box so if you remember algebra class just cross uh, multiply here that'll clear the fraction and it's 22.5x equals 266, solve for x. And here's the height I need to make these two box, boxes the same proportion. Now my top is 1.2 centimeters. So if I subtract that, I know I need to trim. I know I need to trim my project box here to uh, 10.62 centimeters. Okay, let's see if this rascal goes back together. This is one of those operations that if it goes wrong, you make a mistake, cut it cut it in the wrong place, you got to start over. And I don't mean back to some some random place in the project. I mean over, over. All right. We didn't mess it up. Okay, here's the project before we can do any glue up. Uh, we need to put this bottom in here. Uh, what I did is I cut this little witness piece to confirm 
that I had the measurements right. Uh, the data goes around the inside here. Okay, let's go ahead and cut the uh, cut this plywood. So now after uh, worrying about over this all this time, put it in here. Figure out how long I want to make it. Okay, I just measured it's dead on square. So if it's the right length, we'll be able to do some glue up. But what do you know? Okay, we already uh, kind of covered the glue up uh, during the prototype phase. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and glue this thing up. And I'll come back when I put the uh, top on it or when something fun and interesting happens. Huh? Pretty good deal. Remember this little trick? I'll tell you, it works good. I was looking for the... I was looking for the plugs on the uh, prototype and couldn't even find them. Same exact wood. You're showing the end grain. It just blends right in. I went ahead and stuck the lid on there as part of the glue up. <clears throat> let's take this, uh, let's take the box sander down a little bit and uh, see what the joints look like. Now let's zoom in here and uh, take a look at our dovetail joints. See the pins coming through. There you can see the tails. More tails. There's our plug right down there. Stain that, you won't even be able to see it. Tail, our pins coming through. Looks like I still need some sanding right there. Some glue shining through. Well, there's our, our two boxes. I got the uh, prototype on the right and the project there on the left. Uh, project box is larger, but they're in the same exact proportions. Okay, let's go to the next phase. Okay, the next thing we're going to do uh, before we do any uh, final sanding and split the box and all that business is we're going to put this detail here around it. It has this, this uh, it almost looks like a raised panel in that uh, top piece right there. Do that with a uh, round over bit with a, uh, with a lip in it. Okay, let's go do that. Now we have our little raised panel effect here. Let's go ahead and split the box. I'm going to go ahead and stain the both the lid and the outside of our project. The inside of our project is going to get special treatment so I won't be staining that. I'm going to be lining I'm going to be lining the inside of it with uh, aromatic cedar with a felt bottom. Because the special treatment I was talking about was I'm going to line the inside of the uh, project with this eastern red cedar. Uh, this stuff sold in quarter inch thick uh, tongue and groove boards it uses a closet liner but we're going to use it to line the inside of that box well now I'll just take these little strips of wood and glue them on the inside of the box I tried some cedar oil 
on the on the prototype, but I ain't luck with it. Almost drum roll time, guys. Putting uh, putting our felt in it. Just got to be careful I don't get any sauce. on the sides. Well, I ain't coming out of there. If I can get it in. So now when you look inside the box, you got uh, you got this uh, aromatic eastern red cedar lining and the blue felt. Okay, let's put the uh, hinges on. I'm going to use these tiny little decorative hinges uh, that come with these tiny little screws which I can drive with this small screwdriver and I will pre-drill the holes using my 12 volt driver. So let's see if it works. I will pre-drill my pre-drill Use an ice pick. So here you can see what I've done. I put a screw in the top and a screw in the bottom. So now the thing is lined up. And um, I'll do that for all three. And then I can uh, put these other screws in without worrying about them getting out of alignment. Well, there's our look, nice little uh, cedar box. We've got the dovetail showing here in the front. Uh, I didn't put the handle on it yet because I don't like this handle we put on the prototype. Um, I need to find something small but elegant to put there, and that isn't it. Uh, <laughs> you open it up. It's held, it's uh, lined with uh, aromatic cedar and got uh, felt bottom. So, pretty satisfied. Well, that does it for another uh, Memphis Monday, Memphis Monday 91. Uh, building these nice little cedar boxes with uh, felt in the bottom. Pretty fun little project. Like and share and favorite. And when you go, uh, if you subscribe, there's a bell right next to the subscription box down there in the left-hand corner. Hit that bell and uh, click notifications. Uh, and that way you'll get an email uh, every time one of my uh, uh, videos comes up, which ought to be pretty easy anyway because they come up every Sunday at 8 o'clock. So like share, uh, Facebook and share and Twitter and all that stuff, I guess that's all. Nope, one more thing. Make sure you're back here next week for another exciting Memphis Monday. Thanks for watching.